Hi there everybody, on today's video I'm gonna be working on this uh, CLK this is a convertible version 2002 and I'm gonna be changing the oil and the oil filter um, so to start I'm just gonna open the, that cap the oil cap here and just leave it to one side for a minute and also the uh, oil dipstick I'll just pull it open there um, and then I'm also going to open the filter um, the oil filter housing here I'm just gonna get that Okay, so I'm going to be using one of these to get the uh, oil filter housing open. This is a So I'm just going to un undo it. Um, and let some air in there. So once it's undone, I'm going to I'm going to leave it there. Um, now we're going to get the car up. Um, luckily, I've got the uh, the ramp again today, so I can use that. But um, if you don't have a ramp, you'll have to get the car up on some axle stands to tackle the um, drain, the oil drain plug from underneath. So I'm gonna do that now. Okay, so I've got the car up. Uh, in the air now and basically there was a there's a, a cover here there's a plastic cover covering the the sump here um, which is that one there and it's got four eight mil bolts one two three and four down there um, so you you just need to remove them and take the cover off and then we can uh, open the the sump plug here so make sure you have an oil tray underneath and then we're gonna need a 13 mil that's my 13 mil And uh, just get that open. And once you get that open, you can take the bolt off. You got the little copper washer there. We're gonna replace it anyway, so it doesn't matter if, if it drops. And also be careful if the car has been running, the oil will be hot.
So I'm going to let that drain now. Five to ten minutes. And then we'll come back and refit the... Uh... Okay, now that it's been uh, properly drained, um, I'm going to refit the, uh, the sump plug with the new washer. It's a copper washer. Okay, I'm just going to tighten it. And I'm just going to clean that bit. Just wipe that off and now I'm going to put that plastic cover on. Okay, so that's the, the cover that goes in there. Um, just have to tighten those 4 8 mil. Those two and there's another two. One in there and one in there. We can now bring the... Uh, so I just had to tighten um, these four 80mm bolts. And we can now bring the car down to change the, uh, the filter and put the oil in. Okay, so uh, now we can take the filter off here. And we just need to uh, pull it out. And you can dispose of that. There's a little um, gasket here an o-ring that uh, we'll need to replace so I have my new filter here and that's the part number this is a, a um, 230 compressor um, so that would be the part number for this car and in there I got the filter and I got the uh, o-ring in there so I'm just gonna get that out so just take the old one out and we get the new one in And I'm gonna get uh, my new filter out and it's just a matter of pushing that in there so this part here doesn't have a doesn't have a hole it's got a small hole but it's not all the way in so that's the part that's gonna go in into the casing just push it in until it clicks and then And then I'm just going to apply a little bit of uh, grease to the o-ring here. You can, if you don't have grease, you can just put a bit of oil um, around it. It's just to make sure it uh, it sits nicely when you when you press this in and also this needs to be tightened to 25 newton meters which is not a lot of force anyway and 
and that's it that's the, the filter done now we can uh, go ahead and top up the oil now uh, for this car it's recommended um, there's three oils they recommend 5w30 10w40 or 15w40 and I'm gonna be using 5w30 and the technical manual also states 5.5 liters for this engine for this uh, uh, specific car so If you don't know how many how many liters go in your engine, you can always put maybe four liters and then uh, check the dipstick, um, and you can see in the dipstick here that would be the maximum, just there, where the little arrow is. So that'll be the maximum. That's the minimum, and the oil has to be. Well, it'll be at the max if we're just putting new oil in. Uh, but it, it will have to be in between this area here. So if you put some oil in and you find it, it's somewhere in half, then you will need to add a little bit. So that way you can slowly put some oil in until you are at the max. Now I put 5 liters in and it looks like it's almost a little bit higher than the max but that is because once I run the engine um, some of the oil will go into the um, oil housing um, approximately half a litre which is why I will need to top up an extra half a litre so I'm just gonna run the engine before I put any more oil to make sure I have the right amount in there. Okay, now I'm just going to settle and then check the okay, dipstick. Okay, that should be pretty much settled now and I'm going to check the the dipstick so now you can see from the dipstick that the oil is down a little bit more than halfway up so I need to top it up a little bit which is probably the 0.5 of a litre that we need And, and that's it. I've got my 0.5 in there and so basically that's how uh, that's how you would uh, change the oil and the oil filter on this uh, CLK. So hope this video helps and uh, thanks for watching.